Hello everyone, Treeks here, and welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. It's only going to be part two, but I'm still going to say welcome back, <laughs> because you probably did already watch one episode. <laughs> Last time we um, actually did the tutorial area here in uh, yeah, Donkey Kong's home, you might say, the middle section of DK Isle. But this indeed only functions as the tutorial area. The rest of the game is going to be on the outside of DK Island. King K. Rule and his Kremlin gang is once again back. And once again they actually stole our banana horde. That is something we can actually check out. Because this sign does point towards it as you can see. If you actually climb up this tree over here. And use our newly learned fine swinging. <laughs> you can actually go in the cave behind the waterfall. And find out... And this is indeed where normally the banana horde is supposed to be. Emphasis on the supposed to be. <laughs> we do find a bit of soft soil here, which we can actually open up later. Even though I never bother to do so. <laughs> I'll actually explain later why I never do that. But um, that's pretty much the only thing you can uh, find here. But it is a nice touch. You can actually uh, look around at um, DK's banana horde. Just like in the first Donkey Kong Country game. <laughs> we can of course also do that. Next, let's go check out this cave over here. I'm pretty sure this one also just leads to some soft soil. Indeed. But it also gives us something else. Namely, banana coins. Also a returning feature. We actually know the banana coins from Donkey Kong Country 2, of course. And once again, they are going to function as the currency in this game. So make sure to collect plenty of them. Next up. The final area we did not check out yet. The exit. <laughs> so let's go uh, dash attack our way towards the end. I always like to keep myself busy whenever running around. <laughs> and then we uh, find out there's indeed a switch here. Just like Cranky said. And we need to use our newly equipped move. The Simeon Slam. To press it. Because normal jumping does not work as you can see. <laughs> our ground pound is what we need. And that is going to be our way to exit. This training area. Squawk! He's back, DK! King K. Rules Island is just over there! He must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other Kongs. I've taken a quick look around. But the only area that hasn't been blocked off is that island with a cave on it over there. Mark. Okay, so that's the only place where we can go. Well, thank you for telling. In that case, we don't have to bother looking for anything else. <laughs> but we are going to check this out first. We see five panels, which are actually numbered. Let's see what those do. Find a similar numbered pad in the same area and press the Z button to banana port between the two. Ooh, a banana port. That's apparently what this is. A warping system, you might say. <laughs> Each area in the game will have five warp points. And whenever we step on one, we can warp between the two. But of course, you do need to find the second one first. <laughs> Here is actually a tag barrel. These we can use to switch between the Kongs. But of course, it's not a surprise, the other Kongs are kidnapped and therefore not available. <laughs> At the beginning of the game, we can only choose Donkey Kong himself. So, that's indeed what we're going to do. And then check out that island over there. It's being dragged by the main island from uh, King K. Rule. It's probably going to be something special. And apparently the only place that is opened up right now. Banana port number one is actually right over here. Might as well open it up. Let's go see what's in here. Ooh, a very large cage. Containing a very large Kremlin. <laughs> Boo hoo hoo. Oh, hi. My name is Kay Lumsey. And I've been locked in here. Because I wouldn't smash up some little island. <laughs> but how could I? Such a lovely little island. Full of cute monkeys. So, I said no. <sighs> K. Rule says I'm too soft to be a Kremlin. And I am to stay in here until I have toughened up. So, I'll do anything to be free again. Hey, little monkey. Perhaps you could help poor old K. Lumsey escape. 
Oh, go on. I'll be your bestest friend. Yes, Donkey will help K Lumsi. Oh, he's all happy now. Oh, uh, big guy shouldn't be happy. <laughs> However, in this case, that is going to be uh, something we do need. A giant earthquake that he actually causes whenever he's happy. We'll reveal the first golden banana and another cave. <laughs> Oh, K Lumsy's so happy now. But K Rule has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K Rule though. <laughs> this has to be our little secret. So, that's going to open up the worlds in this game by the looks of it. We need to find keys in all of the worlds by defeating the bosses of those worlds. And the more we get, uh, the more unlocked this guy will get. <laughs> but there's plenty of locks here, and therefore plenty of keys to find, and therefore plenty of bosses to defeat. He did open up the first world already. So, that's uh, probably a very good bet to go there immediately. Also, uh, initiate our banana port adventure. <laughs> the first warp in the game. And this is how that works, as you can see. It speaks for itself, basically. Uh, we did see the opening up of that cave happened around the corner over here. And it is also going to be our first... Uh, also our first enemy, by the way. <laughs> uh, whenever you defeat an enemy in this game, it will also drop a piece of watermelon. It always does. And that will actually heal you up. The watermelon is your health in this game. Currently still full, of course, so... <laughs> Didn't really have to heal, but um, I can use it to explain. And the next thing is the main collectible in this game. The power stars of this game, you might say. <laughs> Translating it to Super Mario 64. Golden bananas! The whole thing this adventure is about. And this is the first one. Let's go in this lobby. Because uh, that is what this is going to be. Uh, we see a giant rock on some panel that we cannot see yet. <laughs> Uh, what more do we have here? More enemies. Uh, there's also some... Oh, wait. First this. Over here, you dumb ape! I am the mighty bee locker! And don't think for one minute that you're coming in here without showing me some of your stupid golden bananas. If I disobey that fat old fool K rule... It's the big sawmill in the sky for me. <laughs> so pay up pronto. And I can get my wooden butt out of here. And was it really necessary for the dialogue to move around? And is it also necessary for you to spawn inside of me after the cutscene? <laughs> Silly game. But anyway, uh, every single world is going to be blocked by this guy. And not accessible until you have enough golden bananas. But besides that, every single world lobby will also have these um, doors. All corresponding to one Kong. Donkey Kong's color being yellow, and therefore this one being the only one that's open. Don't be afraid, young ones. It's only me, Wrinkly Kong. My body may have passed away since Donkey Kong Country 3. <laughs> but I am here in spirit to help you defeat those na the naughty crocodiles. I can use my supernatural powers... To reveal to you and to your friends where that rogue K rule has hidden some of your precious golden bananas. You can come and see me wherever you see my face. Don't be shy now, dearies. Yeah, I will be shy. First of all, I don't like the fact that you're a ghost now. <laughs> Apparently, it was necessary for the developers to actually uh, think of the fact that she needed to die. <laughs> but besides that, I know where all the golden bananas are already, so I don't really have to bother with you. What I do have to bother with is actually be locker because we need to go in this world. This first world, of course, only requiring one banana. But you can uh, imagine the further we get, the more bananas are going to be required before we can enter the next world. But before we start talking about next worlds, it is time to get started with the first one. 
Let's see how that fool Donkey Kong is progressing, shall we? Oh, banana. <laughs> That's right, my scaly friend. The ape hasn't even gotten his first banana yet. <laughs> or perhaps he did? <laughs> what? what? How did he do that? Very good, donkey. But you'll need more than brute strength to stop me this time. Oh, we're only getting started, K. Rule. We're only getting started. Welcome to World 1, Jungle Japes. DK, gather as many bananas as you can before going through one of these portals. Ah. I see. Collect 75 or more bananas, DK, and you will earn a banana medal. Oh yeah, we're also after banana medals, of course. We needed 15 for Cranky, didn't we? And that's apparently how you get them. By collecting 75 regular bananas. Here's actually the exit of the world. In case you want to leave. Sometimes you want to leave. <laughs> but I'm, of course, going to get started with this world. I want to climb these vines because we need to press a switch to continue on. Which will actually also give us the first couple of bananas in this stage. That will indeed open up the gate. Immediately making use of the things we've learned in the tutorial area. <laughs> awesome. Here's three more banana coins. We do need to buy a couple of things in this world already, so better make sure to collect as many as we can as early as possible. Here we have another locked gate. However, this one we cannot open. There's a switch we cannot work with quite yet. And therefore we need to continue... To the main room of the first world. Which is also going to show us something important. Hey, DK, help! And look who we have here. <laughs> the first captured Kong. Diddy seems to be there. Squawk, K. Rule's minions have hidden 25 golden bananas around this area. But you will only be able to find 5 of them without the help of the other Kongs. Squawk. Oh, I see how it works. 5 golden bananas per Kong. But currently we only have one Kong, so... <laughs> Let's go over the pause screen in order to show that off, shall we? If we press the R button on the pause screen, we can actually see all of our available Kongs and the number of golden bananas they have per world. We can actually scroll the worlds here. If we press R again, we will actually see the total per world. All of the golden bananas in total, all of the regular bananas in total, and the banana medals, in case we have any. And one screen beyond that, we have the grand totals. Currently not a whole lot to see there, <laughs> since we did not collect a whole lot of things yet. But that's something we are going to work on right now. Let's go try to make our way towards Diddy, shall we? Even though it's only the second part, I already feel we need more than one Kong. <laughs> it's time to unlock our first Kong. Ooh, speaking of unlocking things, look what we have here. Two things, actually. <laughs> Funky Kong's armory. But first, we're going to cover this thing over here. Press the Z button to transport yourself to K. Rule's battle arena. Beat his goons to win a crown. Also one of the collectibles in this game. The battle arenas, where we can actually earn crowns. And this is how they work. The first one's called Beaver Brawl. It lasts for 30 seconds. The game is going to give us a couple of enemies. In this case, ow. <laughs> Just some uh, naughties. The name of the beaver enemies in uh, Donkey Kong, as you may remember. And the goal in these battle arenas is just to stay alive. You don't have to defeat a certain number of enemies. All we need to do is make sure we stay alive. Which is usually not too much of a problem, because every enemy you defeat will drop a piece of melon, like they always do. <laughs> this first one being ridiculously easy. It is the first one after all, so... It is our first crown. In the game, at least. Every single regular world will have one of those, so be on the lookout for them. 
Next thing we want to cover, Funky's Armory, the first shop in this game. Let's go talk to the dude. Ooh, he looks really epic. <laughs> hey, been a long time, donkey dude. K. Rule's return is a real bummer. So, the main monkey's here to fix you up with some reptile kicking hardware. <laughs> Check this out. I've got this real cool shooter that'll trash K. Rule's army. And it's yours for just three coins. Are we talking a deal here? Ooh, we can actually buy a shooter. Awesome. A gun for only three banana coins. But do make sure you have those coins. <laughs> the coconut shooter. Looking good, donkey. Let me give you the lowdown. To fetch out or put away your shooter, press and hold the C button and then press the C left and press B to fire. You can also press the C up button to use the aiming sight mode. And if you're firing blanks, I'm the monkey to see for ammo refills. Zero doing right now, donkey dude. Afraid I gotta work on my next big thing. In other words, there's going to be more stuff to buy later on. <laughs> Just not quite yet. But at least we do have the gun already. One of the most important weapons you're going to be finding in this game. Looks really awesome, right? And this is how we shoot. Donkey Kong himself will actually use coconuts as ammo, as you can see. 50 of them we can carry. So, be gentle with them. <laughs> and only shoot when you really need to. Let's get the banana bunch up here. And actually move on towards Diddy. And that was still our goal, after all. <laughs> we do remember to actually pick up the shooter in the meantime. And that's going to be required. In order to unlock Diddy, you do need that shooter. So make sure not to skip out on it. Okay, here he is. Locked in a cage, of course. Not something we can do about it quite yet. So let's pick up this first golden banana for this world. Second one in total. You might need Funky's help to get me out of here. Ooh, coconut switch. Two of them. Three of them! <laughs> Another surprise, we need to hit all three of them before the door actually opens up. Let's make sure there's no banana punches in the tree. Usually is, so... <laughs> okay, uh, where did they all appear? Above all the other gates leading um, to the other rooms. So it's not going to be hard to find them. But this switch we cannot work with yet. Another new building, Snipes HQ, it is called. Hmm. That's just got to be important. But I also see something else that we can actually interact with. Banana balloons. Whenever you have your shooter, you can actually shoot these balloons. And once you do, it will give you 10 regular bananas, as you can see. Make sure not to skip out on these babies. <laughs> uh, time to explain Snipes. Snipes headquarters. Hmm. Greetings. Snipes the name, and revenge is my game. Did you know the K. Rule's been working on his blastomatic machine and intends to destroy your island? I was the chief technician on the project, but that double crossing lizard kicked me off his team. Um, crocodiles are not lizards, but still. <laughs> Because he didn't trust me. I'll try to help you stop K. Rule's machine. But you'll need to find me some of my original blueprints. And this is how they look. I believe they were given to some of the king's toughest cronies. So, be careful. For every blueprint that you return, I will give you one of those golden bananas. K. Rule actually stole from your hoard. No blueprint, no banana. You never know. They might just buy you some valuable time. That is the deal, Kong. This isn't a game, Kong. <laughs> I think it was, but still. <laughs> Those blueprints are vital to us both. So, please go and find some. The blueprints are... Indeed, a way to get yourself some more golden bananas. However, they are also going to be required for something later on. 
Although not per se required, but uh, more on that much later. <laughs> but they actually do have a function, the more you get. So, that is also something we need to look out for. Every single world is going to have an enemy running around with those blueprints. And we need to find it to actually collect it. And that will indeed also give us a golden banana. Counts as one of the five golden bananas per car in each world. Next, let's go over here. Banana port number three is over here. At least the first one is. But also one of the gates. And remember, above all of these gates are the coconut switches that we need to actually activate. Uh, my notes say there's also a banana balloon flying around here. It's a bit far away, but I should be able to actually reach it from here. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Crack shot. Next, let's go towards the second one. That one's actually hovering above the water. So for that one, we actually need to climb onto a ledge. It's no surprise that you cannot actually equip your shooter while swimming, so... <laughs> Do it like this. And that is number two. Oops. <laughs> Press the button one time too many. Let's go towards the area over here. Um, there's a banana port over here. So we need to activate that. Get some ammo. And activate the final switch, which is over here. Yippee! Way to go, DK! Now that I'm free, I can help you by collecting red bananas. I'll just go and wait in the tag barrel until you need me. Second Kong, unlocked. Go away. I did not ask for your help. <laughs> As you can see, Diddy Kong got unlocked, but he actually also dropped the banana after leaving his cage. That's perhaps a good idea to still pick up and then call it an episode. Because I can see we've reached the time. Oh, you can also see red bananas have now appeared in the world. Now that Diddy Kong is unlocked. Every single banana that is actually colored red is for him to collect. Uh, that is his color. But currently, still working on Donkey Kong. Second banana in the stage for him. And after collecting that, we are allowed to progress through the rest of this world. All of the gates will open up, pretty much unlocking the entirety of the rest of the world. Next time we are going to explore the rest of Jungle Japes, now with two Kongs in tow. So there's plenty of stuff to collect. Not just the regular traditional yellow bananas, but now also some red things have appeared, as you can see. <laughs> see you folks in the next episode, when Donkey Kong 64 will continue. Thank you for watching, and Treeks out!